Southpaw with Philly Shell. Coach Eric Bradley here today. We're going over several layers of how to develop and what goes into the teachings of the Philly Shell. That is one of the key things that most people are confused about. What I want to what I want you guys to understand today is that in order to master the science of the Philly Shell, you must understand that your entire style may not be the Philly Shell. That's very, it's only necessary when called upon. So whenever you are learning the Philly Shell, what are the unique properties that makes it so hard and difficult to master? Now everybody's trying it, but no one's, ma no one's mastering it. There's not one artist out there today, fighter-wise, that has mastered the science of the Philly Shell. Everybody that's mastered it is retired or dead. So, what made it so difficult to learn? Because there's so many layers. Not only is it that difficult, but the fact that we're gonna switch it and go south all today. So this week, we're gonna cover the Philly Shell, several points of the Philly Shell throughout the entire week. Today is point one. And in a South Pole stance, how do you master and how do you manifest that sky, that style, that defensive prowess? The first thing you want to do is your feet. When you're throwing that Philly shell together, let's get the gloves on, fellas. What are you doing? You got your... Let's get this work. So here we go. We're back at point one. Hands here. Philly shell is about a lot more power than most people give it credit for or that it's known for. Um, the next step is checking the power right here and that there's a constant shift because boom, this is what we call a four corners warm up drill. Pop, 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 pop. Uh, one across here, one across here. The weight shifts from front to back. There's so many little variables whenever you're doing this Philly Shell and it's not just talk. The, the dexterity of your defense is so important. How you can catch a punch right here. Now, when you're southpaw, you're doing a different focus and your, 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 your defense calls for a different prowess. When you're conventional, you're catching a jab from this way. But when you're this way in a Philly shell, what's coming at you is the right hand. So how do you stop it? Point one. The first way to get out of the science, the, the way of that number two punch, which is going to be the lead right hand coming from a right-handed fighter, is you're going to slip out here and step around. That's one of the key defenses against that right hand. Boom, boom. And you better do it with a burst. So all that weight has to be here. Bump, boom, and back around. Now, if you're gonna get caught with that lead right hand, you better make sure that your left, right here and right here, is tight. When that right hand comes down the pipe, boom, you better catch it with purpose. Because when it's gonna look like that wop coming down the pipe, this has to be sturdy. That forearm curls. Reverse, um, the rice, get a bucket of rice, strengthen that form and that grip. Because when a right hand come down the pipe, you're not shadow boxing anymore, you get hit. Get off the uh, mat, big boy. Um, the blocking. First round is punch logistic, three punch combinations. Ready? Hey, George, are you out of here? Yeah. Okay. Next round, here we go. So we blocking at two. Boom, boom, that's what it looked like. Making sure you tuck really good. That shoulder has to be up here, protecting from that left hook, just boom, boom, or you can be like boom, boom. And if you don't, what'll happen is you'll get clipped. So let's not get clipped today. From the southpaw stance, once that thing come down the pipe, boom, and you can come on out. Number three, how do you stop that first, that lead right hand? Out of the south pole stance, pop. Keep that in your vision, tunnel vision. Pop, get right up under that baby. Come up, boom, pop, and you can counter right there. Look left, look right, pop that jab out of there. 
These are three ways in order to stop that lead right hand coming towards you out of the South Paul Philly shell. Now, I don't want you to take what you just learned and apply it if you're not living it. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna get yourself hurt. We don't want that. You gotta be dense right here. You gotta be dense right there. You might box like this, but only need the Philly shell for a spot, a moment. That's one of the things that you gotta understand. It may not be your entire style, but you gotta have the entire Savage package. And that's all I got for you to do. This is episode one. So just imagine what the rest of the week is gonna look, look like. Most of you guys don't have a, a, a how-to go-by guide. But what we wanna do is make sure that everybody who purchased the six-week camp has all of these steps. It's gonna be typed up for you just like that. You're gonna get that in your email. So everybody who already has the six-week camp will get all of the drills of the Philly Shell. But tomorrow will be episode two. So we'll cover how to cover the second point in the Philly Shell out of the Southpaw stance. So stay tuned, stay locked, share the post, like the page, people. We're giving you nothing but that solid boxing education on a daily basis. My name is Coach Eric A. Bradley. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say, if you are looking for the Philly Shell, download plenty. Make sure to just go visit at masterboxingllc.com and you can choose whatever you want to get. Whether it's Coach's Edition, Fighter's Edition, and a, or a bundle. And it kind of has a multitude of things in the Philly Shell, the Midmaster Series, and a couple of other different options. But enjoy yourself, man. Work this drill, but work it with purpose. Because if not, you're going to get hurt. We don't want that. We want you to have the most sound education as possible. My name is Coach Eric Bradley. Episode 1 is out of the building. We're coming back for Episode 2 tomorrow. We bless that God's feet. We out. Peace.